Hey, a pleasant and good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be on a quick video on the Arizona Coyotes making a goalie claim to go along with Karel Vizmelka since Carter Hudden is out with an injury of bringing in Scott Wedgwood to be able to be the backup to Vizmelka to try to solidify the net, the net, excuse me, there in the backup position where the Czech great Karel Vujmelka playing great over there since being drafted by the Nashville Predators and now being on the Coyotes has really stepped up and played to a level that I don't think anybody expected it immediately over here and has been one of the bigger goaltenders to watch for the Arizona Coyotes in that division. But not just in that division, honestly, in the game early, he's the only reason why, yes, this team obviously does not have a win yet, but the only reason why in some games they have actually been competitive as Provestov, not really a Prozvatov, not really his fault, but he got shellacked in his one game where Vilgemelka, due to playing in the Czech League, which isn't to the degree of the KHL or NHL, would be right below them, but it's still a men's league and a very good league in its own right, seems to be having that experience really paying dividends as he starts in the NHL. Plus, he has the off-glove hand, which really throws off the NHL skaters, and he just makes those ridiculous saves you see certain European goalies make, where you're like, how the hell did he throw that up and get to that puck, and all those things that you see from the different European goalies, like the Bobs of the world, Hasek in the past, obviously, Vasilevsky and others. So they're just trying to find the guy to fit into this backup pool. To start in New Jersey in three games, he had a 3-2 and an 8-80, so Scott Wedgwood was not looking good there. He's, of course, already played for the Arizona Coyotes in the past, in the 17-18 and 18 season, where he had a 3-4-5 goals against average um, in that season, So and an 8-93 save percentage, so he put up very just mediocre numbers then, but this guy has been a good career goaltender at lower levels. He was great for the Albany Devils um, way back, honestly, um, when he came to 13-14, 14-15 season, and then if you go to when he played for the Devils, the first team he was on, he actually did good in that cup of coffee in four games, went back to play with Albany and Binghampton then once they Switched to the Binghamton Devils in 17 and 18. He played a game there in that season. Then he was, of course, up with the Coyotes in 17 and 18. Played 20 tilts there. Wasn't all too great, but was still had an 8-9-3 and was a, all right. That wasn't obviously a very sexy uh, team to be playing with, but he played all right. Well, that's kind of been Scott Wedgwood's NHL career. His AHL career has been... Very solid, where he's had really good long stretches of 48, 36, 22 games, where his NHL career has really just been the peaks and valleys, where last year he had an even 900 save with a 311 goals against, also a solid band. But um, that's something that he's kind of just been his entire career. He's been a guy that's been very good at the minor league level, being able to bring stability and net down there and bring leadership down there, no matter if it's Rochester, the Crunch, on the Rain, on the Devils, on the Albany Devils, Binghampton Devils, whatever, or even the Anirondack, Th Anirondack Thunder when he, well, he only played one game there, really the Trenton Titans when he played 48 games in the ECHL. He's been a good goalie in the AA and AAA levels. It's now he's trying to find a footing somewhere to become a backup. Scott Wedgwood's potential, really, in my opinion, would be to be a backup goaltender in the NHL because he's found those spurts when Mackenzie Blackwood was injured last year. So can he find a longer spurt of success? It's not the best team, obviously, to play behind as a goaltender as Karel Vujmelka, like I said, had to come up huge multiple times this season to just keep the winless Coyotes in games. But maybe going elsewhere, going to a team that you have absolutely no pressure, where the Devils are starting to build towards being better and better each year and growing to the next level of the retooling, rebuilding, whatever process you want to call it, where the Coyotes are in the beginning of a full hole rebuild here. So he's going to get to go to somewhere with no pressure. Vigmelka is thriving as a guy that is a veteran from the Czech League coming into his first league in the NHL. And it seems like that experience is really paying dividends for him. Maybe the loads of AHL experience, being able to come in here and kind of teach a guy like him, just like they brought in Carter Hutton for, about the North American game. Not much at the NHL level for Wedgwood, but has been in the AHL and thriving for a good bit. Will still help Vujmelka in that own right. So I think it was smart to bring in a veteran goaltender like Scott Wedgwood. That's why they had Hutton with Vujmelka, because you want to have a veteran with a guy that's new to the league. So this was a smart, small pickup 
by the Arizona Coyotes that hopefully for Scott Wedgwood, he's able to find a, find a place to become a backup goaltender down there in Arizona. So have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg. Share the content. Subscribe up above or down below on the easy-to-use widget. Hopefully your Arizona Coyotes get a win very soon. I love watching that goaltender, Vigmelka, and then hopefully Scott Wedgwood can implement himself as a good backup. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.